Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> tourists helping out the tourists. Hello everybody! Hello motherfucker! How are we all doing today? Smashing! Welcome back to another episode of Mitch Gets Creative and Makes Some Shit For His Van. That's what we're doing today. We're going to be making some insulated window panels to go on all the windows around the entire van to try and keep uh, the heat out when it's hot and the heat in when it's cold. Because you know, windows Pretty much let out like 75 percent of all the you know, heat you're trying to keep in or heat you're trying to keep out when you're in your van as you know in a hot day your van turns into a bloody I don't know, oven and then when it's freezing cold you get into it and it's freezing cold so we're going to try and make up some panels with what we've got here on the table probably only going to cost me about less than 200 bucks i'd say to make through the whole van hopefully so um, yeah, it's a lot cheaper than a lot of other alternatives, but um, yeah, we'll see how we go. What we've got to make these panels is obviously insulation. I think this shit cost me like 140 bucks off of Amazon, which isn't too bad. To hopefully do the whole van uh, double layered, hopefully, so that's not too bad. Um, I bought some sheets. This is going to go on the panels to cover them up so you don't just get that shitty alcohol look on the inside. Knife, cut her up, get into shape. And obviously a tape measure so we can measure them all up, make them all good. And some glue. This is how we're going to stick it all together, stick all the uh, sheets and whatnot on it. Hopefully it lasts pretty good. But yeah. Also. Got a hockey stick. Why a hockey stick, you ask? Well, seeing as I don't really have any tools and um, I need something straight to cut all my edges with, this is the only straight thing I've got. So, hockey stick turned level slash straight edge. Let's see how this works out. Last but not least, beverage of choice to keep you hydrated. You know, when you're working hard, you don't want to get too dehydrated and then you can't finish your job. But yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so first things first, I had to chuck my sunnies on because it's hella bright out here and it's like my eyeballs are going to fall out of my head. So, first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to start off with this little bad boy right here. Just a nice easy one to get us going, see how we go, get our technique down. First things first, just measure her up. We've got 18, 18 and a half, 18 and a half inches, which is actually... 465 centimetres for everyone who isn't American or Canadian like myself. Inches are still fucking hieroglyph to me, but maybe I'll get there one day. Sweet, so we got that all measured up 465 by 465. Let's go cut some stuff out and see if it fits. Let's go see if it fits. Alrighty, so we've got our first little square of Reflecto panel. Oh, so probably going to have to cut out the corners a bit because obviously these are square and the windows are actually a bit rounded. So we'll see how that goes in there. Plus, I don't know if you can see this little bit down here. Probably going to have to cut this out so it slots in there nice and tight like, you know, gets a good seal. There we go, fits like a glove. Sweet, so we have it, that's our one window. We're gonna, what we're gonna do is uh, obviously cut another one of those out for this one. 
to stick it on so we've got like a double layer and then I'll just do another two of the same template and put them on the door that's on this side behind you there them in the sheets just so they look a bit nicer and they don't look so shitty from the inside of the car so yeah now we're gonna do is just lay the sheet out trace this around make sure we need like, like a nice little gap so we can fold it over and then I'll show you what we're gonna do all right so we've got our sheet just gonna draw around it cut it out we've got a bit of overhang and then we can wrap it up Now we've got our glue, got our sheet cut out, got our stuff, we're going to glue it on and wrap it over. <laughs> helping out the tourists. Right, so now that we've stuck that down, it's gonna go around the outside so we can just fold that sheet over and that way when we put the two bits together, the other side, it will stick together and we'll be laughing. Gives you a double layer of information, boys. See how this goes. Voila, there you have it. Let's go whack her on the window and see if she goes any good, eh? Well, there we have it. One window insulator. Sits in there nice and tight like what we're gonna do as well. There are some little suction cap things that we're just gonna punch through and then we can just put it on there and then that'll just suck it right nice onto the window and it won't fall off hopefully but we'll see how we go now to do the rest of these mofos got all this shit to do so many windows my advice if you ever buy a van less windows for sure so there we have it we got that one done that one done and now we've got to try and get on to the bigger ones See how we go. Might be a bit harder. Hopefully on that one just behind us there, I'm gonna try and cut out the bottom. So, cause there's a little window there and that'll be where our kitchen is gonna go. So if we cut out that bottom bit, I'll just be able to pull the bottom bit off and use the window. So we have a bit of ventilation when we're cooking and stuff. Should be pretty sick. Let's get to it again. What's up everybody? Day two, yesterday ran out of glue and uh, sheets, so we had to call it quits a bit early. But managed to get some more glue and another sheet so we can keep on keeping on. Got a little helper today because Maddie's not working, so I say helper, but it's probably just gonna be more like supervisor. But um, yeah, sweet, let's get into it. Go get it.
found out that we had two perfectly good curtains in the car, weren't ruined and worked fine, and Mitchell right here threw them in the bin. And he can. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Well, after a day and a half, pretty much got all the windows done. The only two that I had to end up putting uh, little suction cap things on was the two on these back windows because they're obviously so big, like I couldn't get the sizing right so that I could just squish it all in and make it all nice. So if you look down here, on that one, little suction cap there, just comes out back there. Little fucking so yeah, they'll hold them on the windows. Hello. Well, there we have it. She's uh, fully insulated on all the windows. It's bloody dark as in here now. Good. We won't be able to tell when the sun's coming up. Hopefully it uh, keeps us nice and warm during winter. If we ever have to stain it when it's like minus 20 or something, because that'll be pretty interesting. And hopefully it'll keep us cool during the summer. So yeah. How you reckon, Madison? Good? I reckon it's good. Be able to get a good night's sleep. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be toasty. And hopefully in the summer it'll be cool. See what happens. So yeah, let us know in the comments uh, what you reckon of our window insulators, reckon if you could do a better job or what you'd change about them or if they're sick, just say they're sick. Give us a like as well. Give us a subscription because we need those. Help us out a lot. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.